Now, Z Micro manufactures primarily for Department of Defense ruggedized computer assets, displays, workstations, and storage devices. Before Visual Factory came into the picture, uh, I produced pretty much all of the documentation that we used, and it took me on an average of about five to six months to produce a working set of instructions. I also wrote all the test procedures and all those kinds of events, and it was a very slow and sluggish process. A visual Factory came into the picture. I could produce an instruction set a new item never before developed in Visual Factory, I could do it in about a month. And if it's an established product with very much similarities, I could do it in about a week and a half to two weeks. Vast improvement in time. We were um, at best, you know, very manual, um, very paper driven uh, with Visual Factory. It really helped us become more reactive to changes um, in the past, it was quite cumbersome to change some of the work that Martin had produced on the paper. I find in particular, um, when something changes now, uh, something revs, it is much quicker and more in control than it was in the past. What I find uh, beneficial with Visual Factory is the ability from my desk um, to be able to drill down into work history. One of the requirements on nearly every purchase order is that we keep our history um, up to a certain amount of years um, uh, available for a customer to request at any time. And so with Visual Factory, we can do that remotely from a, you know, you know, customer service can do it from their workstation or I can do it from my office or whomever. And so having that record available, go into a lot, get right to the person if there was an issue, maybe even a serial number, that is very beneficial. Overall, I mean, it allows us to repeat the process much easier once we have a standard product going on on our production line. But in terms of the process laid out, we can take pretty much anybody and show them how to assemble and how to test and how to even ship a, a unit. If there's a error or anything that's caught by an assembler that I can just quickly implement, you know, whether it's an image change or a part call out and implement that change, that correction. It's really, it can become a all-inclusive package for a manufacturing floor. That is when we first initially started, we have a storage product uh, that took us about an hour to build. And through Visual Factory, we cut the time down in two stages, but we got that build down to between 15 and 20 minutes. The second product family that I took on was the displays and we noted that in the few displays that I'd introduced into the system, um, one is our was our primary breadwinner. It was called a universal display platform. It improved in the assembly process and test of about 25 minutes. Uh, one of the things I look forward to that is the metrics of uh, the data that's in Visual, Visual Factory, mining that in a way where uh, we can report to it in real time and and to that effect, also having from dashboards or real-time data where the floor can see it, they can see what their tag time is, they can see what's behind, or how they're doing for that given day. That's where I see the future. That's what I'm really looking forward to, being able to pull that. And, and I think Visual Factory will be a big part of it.